Okay, this is the belt motivator stand, and the first thing to do is to uh, take off the friction wheel. Okay, these are called Cresser wrenches, and they're adjustable. And you're going to go ahead and turn the nut counterclockwise. Now you have it, in case you want to put it back on, you can use it for exercise workouts. There you go. Now it's removed. Okay, now that we've got the friction wheel off, we're going to go ahead and install the generator mounting plate. We're going to use these two bolts right here and uh, each one has a flat washer and a lock washer on it. Alright, so what we're going to do is going to put the mounting block in, right in here to the bracket. Make sure you have the bolt inserted straight. Okay, now we're going to put the second bolt in. Right here. And again, we just want to kind of just get the thread started. If you feel any kind of binding there, just kind of wiggle this plate. Uh, see, that's called finger tight right there. Go ahead and tighten it up. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and mount the generator. So, these are the four mounting bolts that we're going to use to put the generator on. So, go ahead and make them finger tight. There we go. You don't need a whole lot of torque on these bolts to get them to where they'll hold the generator correctly. Alright, so now that thing is on there real good. It's not going anywhere. And right here we have a kid's bike, which is a lot of fun to, to do with uh, young kids who want to make their own electricity. Turn the bicycle upside down like this. So the back tire is up in the air. This is the crescent wrench. There's your Phillips head screwdriver. So once you have the two nuts loose, you, you got to move the wheel forward this way to loosen the chain up, take the chain off, the sprocket. Now you can see this chain's off the sprocket and you slide your wheel off of here, take the sprocket off. So now you have your wheel. Okay, now that we've taken the kid's bike wheel off, um, we need to go ahead and take off the, the tire and the tube. First thing you have to do is to take the air out of the tire. And then when the hissing goes away, it usually means that the air is all out of the tube. All right, so these are called tire levers and what they, they make it real easy for you to take the tire off your... Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and push in the scoop inside the tire here. We're gonna grab it, pull it over, and hook it onto <laughs> spoke. You can see this hook up here, up to here, move about six inches away. And then once you've got this part, Started or this section of the tire, it usually just pretty much comes off all the way around. Just give it a good pull and rotate your tire. You can see this part here is still on the rim. You can just on this one, you can usually push it off with a lot of force. You can just push like I am right here, and then the whole tire just comes right off. There you go. The last thing to do is to take off your rubber liner, which is not needed for this uh, generator application. We're going to take it off and leave it with your tire and your... Tube. We're going to put this wheel back on the frame and you want to turn it so that the... just like it was when it came off, the sprocket's on the far side. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the chain back on the small sprocket and put this on. Put your wheel on. Make sure your axle slides in here. Make sure your front sprocket here is on. Okay, so now you got the front sprocket and you can see that the wheel is turning right now. It's just the chain's really, really loose. So what you want to do is go ahead and tighten up the chain by moving the wheel back. It looks like the chain's nice and tight now. I move the wheel back. Just snug up one nut just a little bit, not all the way. Snug it up. Yeah. Once you have both sides snugged up, you want to make sure your, your wheel's aligned. And we can check that just by looking at the spacing. It looks like this has got the same distance between here and here roughly. That means the wheel is straight. We can go so, ahead and tighten this nut down all the way with full force. 
and on the other side same thing put about 50 inch pounds there you go nice and tight and the last thing is to put the brake clasp back together and all I have to do is turn the bike over and put line these axle ends up with the cups there we go okay so we got the bike on and the next thing is to check alignment so that this wheel is directly lined up with this pulley. The wheel is too far that way, about a half an inch. should be directly lined up. So I'm going to start tightening this way to get it to line up real good. And then this way. What you want to do is give it a few turns. And you, you basically want to turn it until you can't turn it anymore. Nice, and, Real nice and tight so that there's no safety issues. Okay, so now you can see the wheel is real tight. Now you put the lockdowns on. Okay, this is this is called the lockdown nut. And what that does is it makes sure that the bike doesn't get loose. So you turn that and firmly put it in place. All right, so now it's time to put the belt on, and the belt's going to go around the rear the rear wheel all the way down to this generator here. And this is called Power Twist V belt. It's adjustable length V belt. Okay, you can see that the tabs of the belt are facing downwards, which means while the person's pedaling, it'll catch the belt and help it have better traction. We're gonna go ahead and put the belt around the wheel and then wrap it around the pulley down here. And now you take your general measurement. How many links? All right, so this is where we can see this link right here it should go right here. So we're gonna go ahead and break the belt right and get needle those pliers and you can turn it sideways and take the tab off take the other one off all right so hopefully this length is perfect but it's uh, mostly the case that you need to adjust it once or twice to get the tension just right. So the first thing you do is put it on the generator pulley and then roll it onto the rim. So you can see right here that, that uh, it's on this part of the rim, but it's not on this part of the rim. So the way to roll it on is you hold it right here at this position and you gently move the, the rim and it rolls the belt on and now we're on. So the way you know if it's correct is your belt should deflect about a one inch when you push on it gently. It should be about this tight right here. If you're in the 300 watt range and you're a real adult, you'll need this tighter. But if you're just doing a fun kids display, then this is about the tightness that you want. All right, at this point you have a generator on your bike stand and you can actually take a voltmeter here Turn it on. Put it on DC voltage. Okay, these are called wire strippers and, and wire cutters. You can see that inside you have a copper conductor, and you need to strip away some insulation to go ahead and get to the to the power. So you're going to use these wire strippers here. Gently push down. Now you've stripped off about three eighths of an inch of wire. So now you've got two ends, just like that. To measure the voltage off of here, you can use something called alligator clips. All right, so now that we have the alligator clip patch cords connected to the voltmeter, so if we go ahead and turn this, you can see, you can see two volts there. I'm the one who set this up for my dad, so yay me. All right, so now that you have this set up, there's a couple of things you can do. 